Alright, so today we finally have the full kit for both 2B and A2, so I wanted to talk about it. In my last video, we actually went over the patch notes, and we also got a bit of information about their kit. But now we have the full description for their skills, so we're gonna see if any of my initial predictions was right. But more importantly, we're gonna see how good these characters will be. So starting off, we have 2B. So she is going to be a defender, an assault rifle user, she will have the fire element, and she will also be a burst type 3 unit. This is not really a surprise to me because even though she's a defender, I was expecting her to be more of a DPS. Just like what I mentioned before in my last video, I told you guys that the character class doesn't really dictate the character's role. Any character can be a support, attacker, or defender, but depending on what their kit actually do, their actual role can be completely different. The only big issue I was concerned about is the defender class. Because if she is classified as a defender, that means that she will have a very low attack value. But looking at her kit, especially with higher investment, I can actually see that not being a problem. So moving on, let's actually talk about her skills. So her skill 1 survival is a passive skill that activates when using burst. So what this ability will do is it will increase her max HP depending on how many times you use her burst. So using it once will increase her max HP by 10%, using it twice will increase it by 20%, and this will actually max out at 3 times, increasing her max HP by 57.76% along with the other increase in HP. And looking at the rest of her kit, especially her skill 2, you're going to see why that is very important. And speaking of, let's actually talk about her skill 2. So just like her skill 1, this is also going to be a passive skill that activates after firing 300 times. This will affect all of your enemies, dealing 167.45% of final attack as damage. So you might be thinking to yourself that, oh, 167.45% damage that's not really that much. And considering that she's a defender, then that's not gonna do any significant damage whatsoever. But the thing is that her skill 2 has a second effect that will increase her attack by 6.16% of the caster's final max HP, continuously. And this is really good for many reasons. So for one, yes, she has a low attack value because she's a defender, but on the other hand, she also has an insanely high amount of HP. And considering that she also increases her HP whenever she uses her burst, then the low attack value from her base kit doesn't actually matter. And to put that into perspective, an average defender in my character roster normally has 1.2 or 1.3 million HP. So if you increase that by these values, that will be around 2 million HP and 6.16% of that is around 120 or 125,000, which is insane. So the 167.45% value that is considered as damage to all enemies on the field is actually nuts. So even with the low scaling on her skill too, she is going to deal an insane amount of damage. But the only problem is that it might take you a while to trigger her skill 1-3 times. Because based on the skill condition, it sounds like this will only activate when she uses her burst. And knowing that she is a burst type 3 character, that is not likely to happen quite often. So for you to trigger her skill 1-3 times, you probably have to do 5 or 6 rotations and then you'll have her actual max HP. So I can see her as a character that is not really that good. I mean, she's gonna be good at the beginning of the fight, but she's only going to get better as the fight progresses. And then finally, we have her burst series of attacks. Of course, just like the other burst type 3 characters, she will have a 40 second cooldown. I'm not sure if the math is mathing right now or I'm just panicking, but this sounds giga broken. So what this ability does is it deals 2439.36% of final attack as damage. But the only catch is that the damage is distributed damage. So think of Dorothy's mark from her burst, but for 2B, she immediately deals damage. This also has another effect that affects one enemy unit with the highest max HP, dealing 792% of final attack as additional damage. So looking at this, I actually don't see this as being that strong at the beginning of the fight, especially when you have a lower investment 2B. And when you're in a stage that has multiple enemies, yes, this can still be useful, but you're not going to be seeing a huge number pop up on your screen. Just based on this, I really think that 2B is going to be a high investment character. In a sense that all of her skills are actually really good, so you want to upgrade every single one of them. Obviously, you want to upgrade her skill 1, because the more HP she has, the higher her attack is going to be. And then for her skill 2, even though the scaling is a bit low, the main thing you want from this is the second effect, so that the scaling on the attack increase will be higher. Of course, we still have to do some testing when she is actually playable in the game. But for now, I'm very confident about this character, and I really think that she is going to be one of the strongest DPS characters in the game. Which is kind of impressive, because you don't really expect a defender character dealing this much damage in the first place. And very quickly, we also have a video for her gameplay, so we're gonna check this out real quick. So as expected, she looks really really nice, but how does she look when she's shooting? Because everyone is looking forward to that. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Bro, what? 
I don't think I'm gonna be able to show that on YouTube, but I'm pretty sure you have seen this already and yeah, more caked up than what I remember <laughs> from the original game. If the gacha outfit is actually more covered, boy, I don't think a lot of people will go for that, honestly. Her burst animation looks good, but unfortunately she doesn't switch weapons. Just like what I hoped she would do. But I guess it is what it is. I think it's for the better. When you have this, I don't think a lot of people will be complaining about her using a gun. Alright, so moving on, let's actually talk about A2. I'm really excited about this character because she's using a very unique weapon. And even though it's a sword, yes we already have Scarlet, but the great sword actually looks insane. So A2 is going to be an attacker, she is going to be using a rocket launcher weapon, she will have the fire element, and she will also be a burst type 3 character just like 2B. So her skill 1 is a passive skill that activates when you're using burst, so very similar to 2B's. What this ability is going to do is it will increase her charge damage by 110.44% for 15 seconds. And on top of that, this will basically double her explosion radius at level 10. And this effect will also last for 15 seconds just like the first one. So I was pretty right about my prediction where I said that her kit is going to be similar to Shogar's in the sense that A2 is also going to get a ton of buffs when she uses her burst. So just looking at her skill 1, we can say that that is pretty much right. Moving on to her skill 2, which is also going to be a passive skill that activates when hitting a target with full charge, affecting all the targets. And the value for this is actually laughably low. This deals 30.1%. Of final attack as additional damage and that is at level 10 but maybe i'm thinking too much ahead of this because this has another effect that also activates when hitting the target with full charge and this will basically increase her damage to parts by 40.88 percent for three seconds so if the additional damage from the first effect actually counts as damage to parts then i can see that being useful for certain bosses but outside of that this is not really that good if you really need the damage to parts you probably only have to get this to level 7 or maybe even level 6 but I don't see this ability being a top priority. So moving on we have her burst mode B. Just like every other burst type 3 character, again this is going to have a 40 second cooldown. So just like what I said in my prediction where I think that A2 is going to be a berserker type character where she gets a ton of buffs when she uses her burst and wouldn't you know that actually happens to be the case. So her burst is going to give her a ton of buffs but in return this will have one negative effect. So her burst mode B is going to decrease her HP every second while her attack and charge speed will increase. So you can think of this as like a better case for guillotine skit where yes she is losing HP but she only starts to lose HP when she uses her burst. And the good thing about this is that the HP decrease will actually stop when her HP dips below 40% which is really good. So the most likely case is that when you're using A2 in your team, you probably need to use some type of healer like Blanc, Rapunzel, or Pepper just so A2's HP doesn't dip below a dangerously low value. But at the same time, I can also see some situations where you don't necessarily need a healer. Because looking at the first effect, her current HP is only going to decrease by roughly 4% every 1 second. So if you think about it, if you finish the stage very fast or if you don't get hit that much, then you can probably get away with not having a healer. And then moving on, the second effect will increase her attack by 15.19% and the third effect is going to increase her charge speed by 35.88%. So there is really not much to say about this character other than she's a very straightforward character that is going to be really good especially in stages with high enemy density and against bosses that have multiple parts. And just like 2B, I'm also expecting A2 to deal a ton of damage because her kit as a whole gives her a ton of buffs and those buffs are actually pretty good. And then just like 2B, A2 also has a character preview so we're gonna check this out. So her design is of course very beautiful and her weapon looks sick. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that's nice. I'm not sure if that's the alternate skin or the default one, but just from her design, I already know that a lot of people are going to enjoy this character. And the animation looks nice. The explosion radius is actually insane. I'm not sure if I'm seeing... Yeah, I'm seeing this right. She's able to hit all three enemies on the screen. So just purely looking at the normal attacks, I would say that She's looking to be a better Laplace in that sense. Boom. Big AOEs, which is insane. So overall, I'm very excited for these characters, especially for A2, just because 
I really like her design. And I'm also excited to see what Tubi has to offer because her kit is looking to be very promising. The only character we're missing is Pascal because we actually don't have the kit for him yet, but I guess we have to wait until the update gets released. So yeah, let me know which character you are excited for the most. And as always, if you found this video useful, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.